Hey everybody, it's Nick. Uh, for this little tutorial today, I just want to talk about how to do um, a sun study uh, with some shadows uh, just using the Rhino uh, like viewport. And this is kind of a quick way to get these out. Um, remember, like when we're studying the effects of the sun on our designs, you know whether that's you know trying to study the the shadows cast by the building on something, or the environment, or in this case, the the effects of a facade system like we have this kind of sun system that we've made um in grasshopper uh if we're trying to study something it's like parametric you know so like we're we're going to do a study and then we're going to change something um and then we're going to see the results um, any anytime you do one of those things you want to test it across the different times of the year um and what that means is we're going to look at it um, on the equinox which is the day when the amount of light is equal um, to the amount of of, of not light <laughs> basically <clears throat> and that usually occurs <clears throat> around the like the 21st of march um, and the 21st of september it happens like twice a year right um, and then on um, the winter and summer solstice uh, the winter solstice is usually december 21st and the, uh, the summer solstice would be June 21st, um, and those those dates are approximate. Depends on the year, you know, like that kind of thing. But <clears throat> that's that's within like a day or two. Um, basically, you're looking at, you know, like um, first official day of summer, uh, first official day of spring, and um, first day of winter. Okay, you don't need to measure both equinoxes. You just need to measure one. So it doesn't doesn't really matter which one it is. <clears throat> and then you're going to be looking at the times in the morning and midday and um, later in the day like in the afternoon and that's to kind of capture um just the extremes of the sun when the building will be occupied and you'll get different schools of thought on this but i usually do something like 9 a.m probably one o'clock p.m uh and like three o'clock p.m or you, you could do you could do nine noon and three if you want to split it up equally um a lot of times because the sun is directly overhead at noon or it's pretty close to it, you don't typically see a lot. Like I, I kind of like to go one o'clock because then at least there's a bit of an angle to it. Um, uh, but that's up to you and it's up to your professor if if you know he or she is asking you to study something at a at a particular time. So um, just something to bear in mind. But what we need to do though is we do need to study anytime you have one of these, one of these designs. If you want to actually give it the best. Um, if you want to study the entire range, you need to look at it at those nine uh, moments, because those those are the extreme conditions. Uh, and that and if you look at all of them, that'll give you a sense of, of of how well it works over the course of the year, over the course of those times. Um, if you have a moving system, you know, like a system where these things track or something like that, you know, then you're gonna that'll allow you to tune that system, you know, so that if you're if you've got it tuned correctly, then you'll see how you're mitigating or you're like limiting the sun exposure at those times. Um, if you have a fixed system, then it just allows you to kind of understand like how well your design is performing, you know, even though it doesn't move. Um, and again, this is, as I said over and over again, you know, throughout the class and throughout these videos, um, these are not meant just to say like it's the last thing you do and then you're just showing it to your to your teacher or you're showing it to like your client. You're using it as part of the design process to study these things, and you're making changes, and then you're using this process again. Okay, but what I'm trying to what I'm going to try to teach you right now is just how to do this uh, in a way that's relatively quick and in a way that's clear. Okay, so all that begins by setting up the file like properly, um, and uh, so you've as usual you got to have the the layers really well organized, you know, make sure that everything is um is clear uh, so that you <clears throat> are actually getting the results you want. And you're able to study things like th that you want, okay? And in this particular design, um, I just want to go to ghosted view here. Um, you can just to explain what the design is, what's going on. It's this kind of you know cabin thing. Um, there is um, a large piece of large pane of glass on the south side, um, and um, uh there's a lot of light being brought in uh um and it's because i have this kind of passive solar design where i have this big thermal wall this big thermal mass it's, that's supposed to store some sunlight i have kind of a stove excuse me that's inside the space um on the north side i've got kind of like a clear story 
a lot less light, but like a lot of indirect light coming through. I have a skylight coming through on the west. Um, just, just I just kind of did it to study that effect, um, like for this design. But not a lot of exposure on either the the east or, or the west side. And I want to make a note too. If you look at it from the top view, it's slightly tilted to the southeast, or you could say to the northwest. Um, and that's just something I was I was designing uh, just because of the way that the prevailing winds tend to work in Iowa, um, and also just to prove a point about a lot of the times the designs that you're going to be making are not going to be you know like due north uh, or at least facing facing due north, and so I wanted to kind of study that with you um, at an angle just to show you it's it's very easy um, in Rhino if your building is 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 actually like on like a 90 degree angle um but a lot of times that's not the case so um so the file's all set up you know and and i've got just some basic some basic materials and things like it just has like some glass and some some kind of gray um that's that's all that's that really matters what we're just trying to do is get some get some light uh on the building and to do that we're going to use the rendered um, view and you can see like the rendered view is going to give us um, some basic shadows and some indirect um, kind of light um, the way that i've got it set up right now i believe is just the default display options if you go into i don't know i changed it actually you go to rendered view um just under under view options um i'm gonna go ahead and make my background color uh white um, because I'm going to make these, I'm making these diagrams. You could make it like a light gray if you wanted to. I mean, all this is negotiable. I'm turning off like pretty much all the extra like curves and things. Um, the edges are set to two pixels. Um, using scene lighting, which is very important because otherwise you're not going to get the cast shadows. Um, that's going to really, really mess you up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and with the clipping plane, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, make a make the clipping plane color a dark gray um, and make the edges black and let's just see that should work and then and as far as objects goes um, yeah okay so for surface surface edges I just made the edge colors uh, black no ISO curves okay um, this is all in the diagram video from before and then under shadows what's very important here is for the I used maximum like memory usage for shadows okay um, I, for, for, um, um, soft edge quality, you could make, oops, don't do that. Whoa. You can make it, I would say somewhere in here. Okay. The more memory you put on it, especially I found on the max, when you're on your Mac pro, this, this setting tends to really slow things down. No edge blurring. Um, and then just throw all these things all the way down. The transparent object setting is important for your glass. Like don't, you don't want to add any extra calculation to it. So just, just go ahead and say that they don't just say that glass doesn't cast shadows. Okay. And then it should give you pretty much what I've got set up here. And you'll see when I turn on my sun system, you can, you can see the kind of shadows on the back wall. Um, and, uh, well that also illustrates a point that I have, which is that, you know, you don't, you're not really able to see the. The, the shadows like in this in this kind of thing it's really difficult to study like where the shadows are falling and that's what you want to do you want to say like where and how is light getting inside the space right um let me just hide this really quickly you can kind of see what i'm talking about you know like where the shadows are going into the space also like if you if you remove things like typically like i just did then you are letting light into the space that actually wouldn't be let, let into the space so what we have to do is use like clipping planes okay and a clipping plane is a i'm gonna hide this surface too um is an object that you can be making rhino um just turn on the walls again so let's just turn on the uh the uh, section clipping plane and um clipping plane is right here it's just, it's a special object that you can make in rhino and um Basically, when when you have the clipping plane, if you go to when you when you make one, you go to properties. And you can say which view gets clipped, and in this case, I can actually clip the perspective view that I'm in, and you can see that it actually lets us like remove parts of the building, and I actually still see the the like shadows, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a couple of things. We're looking for the shadows coming in on the facade, right? Like where they're where they're where they're laying particularly on like the glazing or where they're laying on the back wall in this case the thermal wall um, we're looking for them on the floor because that's going to that's going to represent the occupiable area that might get 
shading or might get too much glare. Um, and then, you know, depending on the design, we might be looking at them, you know, from the from the side. You can definitely see there's a lot more light in this area, and there's a lot less light coming through um, in the um, on this back on this back wall, you know, here, right? Um, and actually, like in terms of this uh, in terms of this clipping plane, I was noticing it's um it does seem to be letting it does seem to be letting light in right now. And that's something that's important to check and make sure that that's not that's not doing that. You can see like where I cut it, you can see the light coming through. So we need to change one more setting so we can go through the display options. Um, and uh, let's go through the shadow setting. Oh, and here's the most important setting: say shadows ignored, ignore um, user defined clipping planes. Ah, let's check that box. Super super important. Pause the video. Go do that right now. Shadows ignore clipping planes. Okay. So that is wow. That's really that's really critical. Um, you can also like hide a clipping plane so that you don't see it, and then it still it still works. Okay, the clipping plane's still there. You also notice I have I sometimes I have this north arrow in my scene. That's because I have like the climate studio um, stuff installed, um, and that's just because of something else I'm working on. If you um if you want that, you can install climate studio. That's kind of can be kind of handy as a reference. Otherwise, you can um, you can just disable that plugin. Um, doesn't really doesn't really matter in this case. But in any case, um, you can you can see though like uh, once you've got that that on, if you do a screen capture of this you know view, that's going to give you that light study for that time of day. And right now we're looking at we're looking at the uh, the solstice at 9 a.m. Uh, yeah. So, and then if you, if we changed it, you know, again, and I, I might just go ahead and do noon, I guess, to, to ba kind of balance things out. Um, so there's the, there's the, uh, there's the 12 o'clock and there's the three o'clock. What the blue shadow is, that is really, really odd. Oh, three o'clock in the morning. Ha ha. Uh, I got to go to 15 in there. 15, military time. Okay. So that's, that's at three o'clock. Okay. Um, but let's go ahead. So that's easy to do, but let's go ahead and get our file set up. Cause what we're going to want to do is we, to really study the design again, you know, um, like I was just saying, we're going to actually want there to be, um, the three, three views. So we're looking at the facade view. We're going to be looking at this, what I call the cross section, like the side view and like a plan view, like the top, the top view. Okay. Um, and we're going to need to make clipping planes for each because we want to be removing the, the roof or the facade or whatever. And we're also going to need to be adjusting the angle because if you see, like, if we did a front view, we're actually looking at it kind of at, from this kind of, you know, uh, like 30 degree, 40 degree view. And that's not really flat. We want a view that's actually that's actually flat um, like this. Okay. And so I want to talk kind of quickly about 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 how to do that so that all that stuff is set up. OK, if you, if you have an angle, if you have a straight building, it's pretty easy to do. So um, I'm just going to go through this again. Uh, I've already got the planes and things like set up, but I'll just I'll just kind of show you like how this works. So um, I'm going to go back. So that's in rendered view and that's what I'm going to be using to capture things. But I'm going to go ahead and just start off um, with a with a top view. OK. And um, the easiest thing, so the easiest view to make the the like plane for, and I'm just gonna make um, I'm just gonna make a demo layer just for now. Um, easiest easiest view to make this thing for is the top view. So that's what we're gonna start with first. So you can just do clipping plane, just type in clipping plane, okay? And then there's different settings for it. I'm just gonna use the default setting, which is just to click a corner and then drag, okay? And that clipping plane is gonna be. I'm gonna put this on the demo. On the demo layer, I'm gonna make it red again, though, just so you guys can see that. Okay, so there's the there's the view, um, and it starts off. You can see there's like an arrow that's pointing down. So that arrow is the direction that it's looking, and you can grab it with the gumball if you don't have the gumball, and you just kind of eyeball it and just pull it. Okay, and a way to do this really effectively is just to look at this thing, make sure. So when you have it selected. You can you can choose which views it's in, and we're going to want it in the top view. Um, and so we can we can we can look at this thing. I'm going to look at this in front view here. Find a find an orthographic view probably. Um, so you can look at it, and you can pull it up and down, and then basically see 
where you want it. And I want it just where this where this curve is not uh, is not happening anymore. And you just have to kind of use your judgment. But what we're looking for is we want to see the sun system. And we want to be able to see the 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 like floor plans, like the things. Actually, I want to cut through this door doorway too. There we go. Just enough to get the doorway. So now now it pretty much looks like a plan. Okay. And remember, that's not going to be affected by um, that's not going to affect the light. We're just we're just trying to create a view of this thing. So that's pretty good. We're making it look like a floor plan. You can see where the reds actually cut. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off in the front view. If your thing is in the wrong direction, you can just click flip direction. Okay. In this case, it's already facing down, so that's fine. So that that top view, let's go ahead and look at that in rendered now. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Once again, you know, we're just we're gonna basically turn off anything, um, any layers or any 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 additional kind of objects or things, um, that are, um, yeah. So we'll, we're like we're gonna hide those eventually. But right now we're just we're just gonna be. So those are all my old like living planes. Okay, so there's that view, and let's just kind of look at it. Um, let's let's just check the check the settings here. So let's go back to twelve. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Nine. Yep, great. Um, these, if you're not in my class, you're coming in. These are this is a script that we we had for the class that um, has the sun system um, that affects the angles of things that are in some other some sun systems in the script that we designed. This is the twisted vertical louver angle because it's a, we're looking at this kind of from a north, north south angle. Um, but the way this works is that um, this script that I got from online, it's a C sharp script. You plug in the date and time and things and it gives you the angle of the sun. And it also have this other script that I found that basically if you plug it in, changes the, uh, the Rhino sun system. Okay, so let me just demonstrate that really quickly, just if you're coming into this from somewhere else. So you can see that when I change these settings, basically it just changes, it, it, it runs another iteration of the sun command. And so this is really great because it synchronizes the rhino sun with the grasshopper sun, which is just incredibly um, handy for our purposes. Okay, just saves us a lot of time. Okay. I'll post a link to those later, but um, yeah, so that's all that works. Um, okay, so uh, so we've got our top view set up, and what I am going to do with this is basically just do like a zoom extents. Uh, that's not going to work. Uh, hang on one second here. I'm gonna, what I want to do is I want to create a camera for this, so it's just there. So I'm going to select just my building and say zoom selected. Okay, and then I'm going to go through and go to view set view and i'm going to name this view um just top uh top sun test or something just so i know what that is and that's that's just so i have it all the time okay so there's my view and i can i can play with that later now we're going to do the other cameras which are a little bit a little bit more complicated but the top view that's just a demonstration of how that how that clipping plane works um and uh what that what that looks like um but now we're going to go ahead and do the clipping planes for the other, the other sides here. Um, okay, so let's go through here and uh, turn on the demo layer again. So I'm going to, so that's only, let's see here. Yeah, just got to make sure when we're doing that, that that's set for the camera we have. Okay, your cameras were only, only the cameras that you're using will show up here. So late, later on, we'll probably have to make, set that back to the top view. Okay, but for now, let's go ahead and turn off this layer again um and we'll just we'll just do, we'll call this like new um new facade uh, plane i've already got these but i'm gonna show you okay so the way the way that this works is we need to um we need to create a plane that's actually uh angled the same way that our building is and there's a couple different ways to do this but i'm just gonna i'm just gonna show you the way that i that I like to do it. Um, I'm going to start by turning off the, the sun system. And then I'm going to go in and make um, make a construction plane, just a three-point construction plane. And just make sure you have your snaps turned on. And I'm going to grab the flat angles that I have, which is basically this piece of glass that I've got here, this big surface. And just going to click on the corner and then the other corner and then just go up. And so that, that gives us a plane that's aligned 
with the view. And so now when we're making, when we're drawing things, we're going to be drawing them like in that plane. That's incredibly handy. And that's where we want our clipping plane. So we're just going to go ahead and make our clipping plane and just, just draw it. And clipping planes, by the way, are infinite. It doesn't matter like where you draw them. You just need them to be in the plane because they're going to cut all the way through. And so now that's our plane. And then just like we did before, we're going to want to cut with our plane. But here's the important thing. We're going to want to, you know, make sure it, it, it depends on what we're trying to do. But you want to make sure that your plane is going past the sun system. But do you want to stop in front of the glass? So you want to see the shadows on the glass or do you want to go inside the space? OK, and I'll show you what the difference is in a second here. So there's the there's the sun system. You can kind of see it like as we kind of pull out through here. And if you got if you go far enough, well, you might have to move the glass. But like, you know, you just want to you just want to go inside just enough because you, you want to catch as much shadow as you can. OK, and so there's there's our clipping plane for that. And make sure that that's on the um, facade plane layer. Okay. I'm going to hide that. And then we want to make a camera, you know, view for this thing. And the way that you do that is um, you can go into, go to view, um, set view, uh, sorry, set camera. And you can say, like, um, um, orient camera to surface, for example. And you, just, you need to find a flat wall that is facing um, the what you want to face the camera. Or... You can make a surface and use that as your as your as your uh, um, piece, and that's where I had this kind of surface uh, that I made earlier. I'm gonna see if I can use the back wall. So just find a surface that's gonna be pointing directly at where you want the camera to be. Okay, and in this case, this back wall is fine. So I'm gonna click on that, and you can see the arrow pointing out. If it's not pointing towards you, towards the camera, you need to flip it. Okay, and so I click on this, and so there's my camera. Okay. And you can do a perspective kind of view if you want to. I'm just going to kind of scroll in here. Um, um, if you, oops, I just messed that up there. Let's do that again here. <laughs> Maybe I can undo view change. There we go. Um, you got to be really careful. Like if you pan, it's going to it's gonna mostly maintain that view. But if you orbit, it's going to break that. It's going to break that view. Um, so you can you can you can do a perspective view if you want if you want to see some of the shadows on the on the ground. Um, you can also go through and um, if you want to do the adjust lens length and dolly if you want to like make it make it deeper you know like distort it a bit. Um, I don't think you necessarily want to do that. Um, if you just want to have a straight kind of orthographic view, you can just change the view to parallel and then that'll just give you this thing basically has a diagram and I would, I would recommend you do that for this. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what the shadows look like. Again, I always want to test what we're, what we're seeing. Um, so yeah, so 15, let's go back to 12. Yeah. So, so those are the views. Okay. Great. Um, and I also noticed this, so there's this red line here. That's just from the, um, from the script. So I'm just going to go ahead and select everything and turn off preview. It gets rid of that. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to, for the purposes of this thing, you know, we're going to go ahead and hide any curves or any, any other objects that are, um, um, that are making any additional lines, you know? Okay. So we'll go ahead and select the building again, and then we'll just go to, go to select, uh, zoom selected. And that's up to you. Like if you, if you like that, if you think this is, you know, big enough or whatever, um, you can also kind of, go out a little bit but what i'm trying to do is just try to make this as big as possible without without crowding the view so then i can save that view so i got a uh let's see set view main views um and i can call this a, a front sun test okay okay now let's do this the side view is or the cross section is exactly the same way you have to decide where you're where you're making your sections and where you're making your things it depends on your design you know you may need more than one you know it may be um, yeah, it's just, it's totally up to you. So, um, let's see here. Section cutting plane. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to wireframe and we'll just say show. Okay. So now we got this back on and then the same thing with the, with the side view. Um, if I go to shaded view, I'm just going to go ahead and must already have that one. Okay. So just for the sake of repetition, it's going to go to uh, set planes and do three point again. I'm just going to grab, um, 
could grab this corner here. You could probably, yeah, that's fine. Mm, can't see after that. Oh, because I've got the clipping. This is clipping it. That's fine. Okay. Let's turn that off. There we go. Okay. So let's see. Um, so for this thing, I'm going to go ahead and do a three point. Let's see if I can grab. Yeah, I can grab that corner. And again, you can always make geometry for yourself if it if it's if there's no flat geometry in your design. You just just you can just actually just kind of take a line in that plane and extrude it. Okay. All right. So now I've got my plane here, and then I can draw my clipping plane for that side. And there you go. Same thing. So I just draw. Let's just get this maybe through this. I want to go right over this edge here. There we go. Um, and then um, same thing that I've been doing. I'm just going to select and hide this. And select the building. Yeah, I'll hide this too. Okay. And then um, let's see. Actually, in this case, yeah, I've got to shoot and make a. I got to make a camera. Um, so we'll go to view. Um, set camera, orient to surface. Okay, and now it's back there. Same thing as before. We can we can kind of um, select everything, um, select all, and then maybe maybe do like one mouse wheel rotate out, um, and you know, and we can we can decide what kind of view we want. I'm just gonna go back to parallel view for this. Um, so there we go. So that's so that's in there. And again, we're just looking at like where where this is cut and where the shadows are going to be kind of falling. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so then we're going to save that camera, and we'll call this one uh, Cross uh, Sun Test. And just to not confuse us, I'm I had these earlier. I'm just going to delete these old cameras. So now I got three cameras, and they more or less the the building is is. It's basically the same size in the view. It's not too bad. We can we can kind of mess with that later. But so all these are all these are set up. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that compass, um, just because. Let's see here. So, Climate Studio. I don't know if it's. It's the one now. I'm going to try to see if I could get rid of that um, compass thing. Oh yeah, so here's the climate studio. I'm just gonna disable that. Not maybe I can't. Maybe there we go. Uh, oh, anyway, I thought that would disable it. Yeah. Okay, it's in there. Um, okay, so everything's all set up. I've got my clipping planes like set up. Let's just go back through all the views now. So top view. <sighs> all right, Rhino. Okay, so there's that view. And. Um, there's the other view. Let's go to the front sun test. All right, Rhino. Gee whiz. Okay, so that that's what that is. Okay, so at this point we can begin to to get our output. So we're gonna we're gonna do the nine images. Um, and so um, I've I've got this set up. I've got the times here. I've got the camera view. All the shadows look fine. The lines look fine. So then we just basically just output a bunch of these things. And this is this is something you can just sit down and do in a few in a few minutes. It doesn't require a whole lot of attention. So put some music on or throw on some Netflix and just it just kind of crank through it, you know. So the method for this is something we've been doing a lot. So you just go in and go view, capture, to file. And I would do these as files. I wouldn't use a clipboard yet, just to make sure you have them for later in case you need them. So just go file, and then um, for the size, uh, you're not going to make these very big, so you don't necessarily have to do these at 16 by 12. You could you could drop them down if you want to. Um, just take up a lot of space otherwise. Um, and if they're not, you just go back and redo them. So just say, okay, uh, and then uh, make a folder for these and call them like Sun Studies. And then make sure you give it a name that makes that makes sense. So we'll just call this, um, you know, Equinox. Um, um 9 a.m um you know front okay just make sure that there's some something that you're understanding um okay 
And then you go through and you change the time, you go 12. Okay. And then same thing, just go view, um, capture file. Yeah, all that should be set up. And then uh, just change that and say 12 p.m. Okay, and then go to three, nope, uh, 15, haha. -ha. Gotta make sure that's right. Um, view, capture, file. And then call this 3 p.m. Okay. And then you'll change the date again. So go to, um, we just, we'll do the summer. So it'll do 621. Okay. Let's view, capture, file. And here I'll um, I'll change this and say um, summer solstice, uh, three at three p.m. front. Okay, just gotta make sure these are in order here. Okay, um, let's go back to twelve. And you can do these how in whatever kind of uh, order you want, but just I I would I would try to reuse times and try to reuse things as much as you can and, and reuse the the labels you've got. So now it's twelve p.m. Okay, and then we're gonna go to uh, 9 a.m. Like I said, these don't take these don't take too long. Uh, just if in case you unless you forget what you're doing. Okay. Okay. Let's call this 9 a.m. So there's nine of these for each ones of, for each view you've got. Okay. So and then the last one is going to be 12. There we go. Look at that light. Oof. Okay. Capture. Okay, and it was 9 a.m. Uh, winter solstice, WF, WF. Okay, 12. View, capture, file. Okay, and 12 p.m. And honestly, speaking as the computation person or whatever, this. There's ways to automate this, but that's like a whole other complicated thing. This at least works, and and it doesn't take that long to set up, and it doesn't doesn't take too much thinking to do. I would I would rather just do it and get it done. If you were going to do a bunch of these, like a bunch of different design studies, you definitely want to automate it. Okay, so that's an entire study, and you would repeat that for all the different you know views. Um, just making making sure that you're. Uh, You've got the um, planes turned on for things, you know. So now this is this clipping plane here is going to be clipping. I gotta get, gotta get my camera view. I'm not using the top view because I want the specific, you know, camera uh, because I want that the scale of this of this particular top view. Okay, that's why I'm doing this and not something else. Okay, so let's just select clipping plane and then we can hide all these clipping planes. There you go. But I had to go back and turn it on because I need it. I need this view clipped. Okay, I need it clipped this particular way. So now I'm at the winter solstice 3 p.m. So I'm gonna go through and say view, capture to file, and you can make another folder for this if you wanted to. Uh, that's actually not a bad idea. Let's just call this um, top view. That way you you could you could really quickly make that thing. Uh, and let's call this front view. Uh, I'll put these in later. Okay, so top view, and then we're going to say uh, winter solstice 3 p.m. top. You can organize them later if you want to. Okay, top view. Okay, go back to, oh, that's 3 a.m. Ah, Nick. Got to make sure that that, I didn't, I probably messed that up before. 15. Shoot. Yeah, I probably messed that up before. Um, Let's overwrite that one. Go back and go back and check that. So just make sure that you don't accidentally do 3 a.m. like I did. <laughs> make sure that it's 15. Um, that's a mistake. Okay, that happens. Okay, view capture file. Boom. 3 p.m. Got to change to 12 p.m. Okay, and then uh, go back to 9 a.m. Capture. You get the hang of it. Just 9 a.m. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and run through the rest of these and then we'll lay these out in Photoshop and then we'll be done. Okay, so just sit tight for a second.